Now, me and this young lady is talking. She says, law of mentalism. Everything is mine. Only one mind. Teach. Now, when she was talking about this, uh, this came from a video I did about um, somebody asked me, what if God exists and how can you prove it? All this kind of thing. But we, at the end of that video, I really talked about the law of mentalism. And here's the thing, but the law, if you don't understand the law of mentalism, I would suggest you go read a book called The Kabbalion. The Kabbalion is the best book that I've ever read that truly explains the law of mentalism as perfect as possible. It also talks about what the all is and how the all is mine, meaning the creator is just a mental consciousness. Just in the same way that the Gnostics looked at the all, the plumora, as a mental energy, a mental consciousness we are made in the likeness of that mental consciousness not in this physical form but in the mental consciousness form that everything that you create starts with a thought a mental thought but even your bible tells you this your bible tells you this in the sense that when it says that if two come together and they are in agreement but there's only one version of it that says and have no doubt now if you go read the gospel of thomas you go read the secret writings of john It'll tell you have no doubt. But if you have one seed of doubt, then it will destroy whatever your mental thought processes are. You could be saying all day, oh, I'm going to get a house, I'm going to get a house, God going to bless me with a house. I'm going to walk around this house seven times because it's going to be my house and I'm going to praise that this is my house. But if you have one seed of doubt about that house, about your credit, about getting funding, you ain't getting that damn house. I don't care how much you pray, you're not going to get it. I don't care how much you meditate in front of the house. Oh, Oh, ah, you're not getting that house because that one seed of doubt will destroy it. Now, let me tell you how a lot of people get messed up. A lot of people also get messed up because mentally they'll hold on to where it says if you have the faith of a mustard seed, then whatever you say, you tell that mountain to move, the mountain's going to move. But that one seed of doubt will crush your one seed of faith. If you got one little bit of faith, and I know I understand the metaphor, the mustard seed grows into this big old tree where it gives birds shelter and you can sit up under and get shade. But a mustard tree ain't got shit on a fucking pine tree. Pine tree, big as hell. Or oak tree. Hell no. So the bigger the seed, the bigger the growth of the tree. So think about that for a minute. The bigger the seed, the bigger the growth of the tree. So y'all can keep y'all mustard seeds. It's a tiny little ass seed that grows a big ass tree and I can respect that. But an acorn is gonna grow me a big fucking pine tree. And I'm going for that one. I'm going for the biggest I can have. So the more you believe in something in your conscious and subconscious, then the more apt you are to have it. And what your subconscious believe is what you really gonna get. So you gotta learn how to program that subconscious to have no doubt and follow your instructions to truly get what you want. All is mental.